Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Rocket Cone Amo, a gaming mouse that's available for about £69, and is an interesting design, available in a variety of colours. This one is white, which is really striking and nice. It's an appealing mouse because this is a large gaming mouse with a, a, a slight groove in the side for the rest of your thumb in, so it's a right-handed mouse, it's not really for lefties. Um, it's not ambidextrous but it has a really nice sort of design to it that's a comfortable fit and it fits really well in the hand you'll note here also there's a thumb button underneath the thumb grip and two side buttons um, the other thing is there's a multitude of buttons here because the scroll wheel also clicks left and right which is really interesting so that gives you a lot of options when you're editing um, the button layout to, to customize it to you the way you want it on top there's two dpi buttons we have a maximum DPI of 12,000 and you can choose between five different settings in here. You can also, within the software, um, change various speeds including the pointer speed, vertical scroll speed and double click speed, as well as setting the number of DPI options. An interesting point here is that you can also get an audible warning when the DPI changes, so you'll be able to hear the DPI switching. I'll see if I can show you that now. 9,000 DPI, 12,000 DPI, 9,000 DPI down, DPI down, DPI down, DPI, DPI up, 9,000 DPI. So where you have a default DPI set, so for example 9,000, when you press the button to go up or down to that, he'll say 9,000 DPI. When you have a custom DPI set, you've set it yourself. So I've set, for example, the lowest one is uh, 1,250. He can't say that because he doesn't know that number. Another really interesting point of the design here is the side button. It actually activates what's called the easy shift mode. So if you press this button here, you'll see the color changes on the mouse. But all that also means is that it basically opens up a second selection of buttons on the mouse whereby you can customize the buttons to be whatever you want within this extra mode so you can imagine this is like pressing a function button on your keyboard that then opens up the other extra buttons so what you could do for example is have your left mouse button assigned to fire in the game if you're playing first person shooter and then when you press the easy shift button that left mouse button now becomes R for reload so you, then that gives you quick and easy access to reloading your weapon and then all you have to do is let go and you can fire again um, that sort of design I've not really seen elsewhere and it's quite quirky and interesting and, and based on the fact you've got these three buttons left and right shift button on the um, mouse wheel gives you a lot of options you can you can change the easy shift button to be something else if you so wish but it it allows for a lot of flexibility um, the design's pretty basic otherwise there's no weights or anything in, in there but it's, it works quite smoothly on the desk and I found that the DPI settings also in a, a good a bit of accuracy there it's a, a, a nice price and there's a lot of funky lighting settings which we'll go into. You can, this default setting that I've got at the moment is fully lit so it changes between the two colours. But you can also choose uh, in the colour wave options where it will just flicker between different colours like that. Um, another number of other settings including heartbeat, breathing. Um, and snake which I think is quite funky so I just put on snake just to show you. And it's basically like the old school uh, snake colors and it'll go around the mouse there's a lot of advanced settings within the swarm software which is downloadable separately and that allows you to customize up to 12 buttons to the standard buttons but then if you keep the easy shift button as it, as it is it basically gives you access to like 24 different buttons that you can adjust and that includes macros too so there's a lot of different options there which opens up a whole world of possibilities when it comes to using this mouse. It's a really interesting um, high-end mouse for a sort of low-end price, and I think, you know, when compared to other mice out there, it's actually really a, a really decent option that you might otherwise overlook, so it's really worth considering if you're looking to buy a new mouse. And that's about it, really. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and come back for more in future. Thanks very much.